Oh yeah! Today we're gonna be checking out 15 things humans were never meant to see. 15 things your mama wasn't meant to see. Okay. But boy, you bit it. Bad idea. The final thing you have to do for the rest of your life is to click the subscribe button. Go, go, go. Please just do it now. It'll really help out the channel and it'll make me feel better about myself. And yeah, comment down below something you weren't meant to see. You can put your mom's booty. You can put your teacher's booty. Or you can put your own booty. Let me know. And let's go. Things humans weren't meant to see. Thousands of birds falling. <gasps> the heck? Are y'all okay? Why did all these birds just drop to the ground? We gotta get these birds some helmets. I mean, y'all are not keeping it safe. A thousand of y'all just fell flat on your face. What, did y'all forget how to fly? You dummies, birds got wings, don't even know how to fly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's sad, who's gonna clean that up? It's not even trash day. You need the street cleaner to come by and, and scoop them up. This is ridiculous, you're dirtying up our streets. I pay taxes to have the roads cleared up, baby boy. You may need a nightlight. Ooh, with you, we don't need no lights, yeah. Okay. After watching this. Airport security guard Francisco Hernandez was finishing up his shift one evening at a Mexico City airport when he heard strange noises coming from inside a plane that was supposed to be completely empty. Per his work protocol and airline regulations, he had to investigate the aircraft. No, and what he, he found inside sent him running for his life. Take a look. Verga. Hello? Oh, I saw something move. Oh, go! An ominous, shadowy figure is seen peering around the corner at Francisco repeatedly, and when he finally sees it, he flees the plane in terror. Even more chilling, this was an area Francisco had just searched, but was completely empty. Who, or what, is it? The your mama? that that video gives me, what are your thoughts? Girl, that's crazy. Either somebody forgot to put away a black mop at the end of the hallway, or that's a ghost. But I guarantee you, I ain't never flying American Airlines ever again. Is that American? Or is that United? Or is it Delta? Yeah, Delta. We ain't flying you no more. Get rid of your ghost, okay? Gee, we only ask that you land the plane safely and that you have no demons. What's that demon gonna do? Offer me some peanuts? I'll take two, please. We were not meant to see this. Look at all these dang alpaca, wait, llamas? Those are alpaca or is that a llama? I don't know. Comment down below, let me know what these things are. Whatever it is, y'all just got all your fur shaved. I know that's a hedgehog down there, so so that's good. We learned something in school. Look at that dang hedgehog, dang. Moving all slow, I thought y'all were fast. You see Sonic moving real quick, what happened to you? Bro, you gotta get it together, man. You are not a credit to your race. Good thing these llamas weren't hungry. I mean, that, I guess they don't eat hedgehog. <laughs> you crazy llama? Must grow your fur back. So I've gotten a lot of requests to cover this photo, and the final photo of the Douglas brothers is truthfully one of the most sinister that's even out there. This is the last known photo of the Douglas brothers, and it was taken by their friend Michael. When I first looked at it, I was trying to figure out where exactly they were, but they're basically in an underground sewer system. They were kind of daring each other to go in there and explore it. And if you look right in between them towards the background, you would see that there's something very wrong with this picture. Looking towards the central back of the photo, you would see they were not alone in the tunnel. Just this haunting outline of a face of someone else who was down there with them. What's wild is that after the boys go missing and police eventually search the sewer system, all that they found were the phones and they found one pair of shoes that belonged to Sam Douglas. And the question remains unanswered. Who was the unknown face in the photo? What? I, I don't know, man, bro, you supposed to be answering these questions, dang it. Don't be telling me these dang stories and you ain't got the answers. That face though, what the heck, bro? Why is your face so blurry? Somebody forgot to clean the camera lens. If you're gonna get abducted, like, at least clean your camera lens and take a good clear photo. There ain't no excuse. All these iPhones got the best camera quality, but homeboy in the background, that dude ain't playing. This dude was hungry. Like what, what, you chilling? You living down in the sewer with Pennywise and Georgie? Oh, heck no. It's the Serbian dancing lady. 
Why you act like that? Mm -mm, nope. That's not even a dance. That's just you gotta pee. <laughs> I mean, come on, girl. The bathroom is that way. And the terrible dancing convention is that way. And who dances by the trash? I mean, like, like look at all them, them, them trash bags. Somebody clean that up. It's bad when you look out your window at night and you see some crazy lady just dance. I guarantee I'm gonna get the sniper rifle and I'll bet. Disturbing police sketches and their terrifying backstories. First, we have this ah. sketch of a man known as the Window Peeper, Black a suspect man. in multiple stalking and SA incidents. And his unusually large eyes and chilling stare was labeled as accurate by witnesses. He was also never caught, meaning this man might still be out there looking through people's windows at night. Next, we have probably one of the creepiest police sketches I've ever Black seen. Oh. Mr. Cruel was an Australian serial predator who was also never caught. He was very careful with hiding his identity, always wearing a black mask, so his victims only ever saw his eyes. And last, we have this sketch of Derek uh, Todd Lee. Just his stare from this drawing is so chilling. But the backstory is even more disturbing because he was guilty of unaliving seven women from 1992 to 2003. But he was also arrested for stalking women by watching them in their homes before his charges. In early 2016, Lee passed away in a hospital in Louisiana where he was transferred from prison as he awaited his execution. What the? No, girl. You're telling me that dude was stalking all these women? Well, good. Good thing I'm not a woman. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Sorry. That looks like somebody who stalks women. Like, bro, are we gonna have to send you to the gulag? I mean, this man is not to be trusted. You see somebody looking like that walking on the sidewalk, you cross the street. But look both ways first. That's what she said. Um, drive by? <gasps> it's not even Halloween yet. I guarantee you one of these is gonna move. One of those things. It's this scary during the day. Imagine what that looks like at night. Oh my gosh. One's gonna move. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you lucky this time. You real lucky. I thought the hunchback clown right there was gonna start moving. Bro, you got the worst scoliosis I've ever seen. I don't even know if that's scoliosis. That's just like, like your, your back is popping out too much. You need a chiropractor, my boy. You gonna need something. You gonna need back surgery. And whoever put all these dang demon Halloween decorations out in the middle of May, call the cops on them, man. Like th this has to be illegal somehow. They're breaking some law. I don't know what it is but we're gonna find out and we're gonna snitch 2 a.m and a security camera in a small village captures something absolutely sinister heck? stop crawling like that i hope it steps on a landmine so just what is this chilling looking creature caught crawling along an alleyway I don't know, man. That's a dang demon. You guys act like you ain't seen demons before. I mean, are you serious? Crawling down the alleyway? The good news is that thing will never catch me. You see how slow it's going? I'll be halfway to Mexico with the sombrero. You ain't gonna get me, girl. Even if you were walking on two feet, you ain't gonna catch me. I'm a black man. You know how fast I am? I'm just By the time that thing catches up, I'll be 98 years old. Deep web footage that got leaked. What's with that mask, man? Oh no. Okay, that might be fake, but like, what if that's real? Just imagine, like, what? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, oh, 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 oh. bro, is that Slender Man? What are you doing down here, man? I, I thought you was lost. You're supposed to be in the forest. Like, bro, you can't be down in tunnels. Hiding out here, man, I bet you, you don't even pay rent. Somebody check his paperwork. We're gonna report you to immigration. I guarantee you this dang demon is not a citizen. Oh, we deporting you back to the underworld. Me and Joel share this creepy <gasps> TikTok, and I had to share with you guys. An entire neighborhood in a town in Brazil is disturbed by this eerie paranormal activity which takes place day and night in an old supermarket reported to be built either on or next to an indigenous burial site. The owners of the property were away to spend Christmas with relatives when neighbors first noticed that numerous people were walking around inside. 
At first, they thought it were burglars, but quickly noticed the speed of the figures and how at times they were walking backwards. Even the height of some of them suggests a dominant presence. The owners of the property were absolutely horrified and refused to live there ever. Yeah, I'm not gonna live there, jeez. Just walking back and forth, pacing, get out of my house. You see them moving right there in that window? Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's like playing duck hunt. You're gonna try to shoot them from here, just bah, bah, but it keeps moving. It's like whack-a-mole. If there's a demon up in the house, I'm just gonna call the exterminator. He'll gas them out. We throwing gas grenades up in there, baby. Good luck surviving that, you demon. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'm gonna see ya in the next one. Peace.